did a video the other day saying you all are gonna love me well i promise you you're gonna love me come on jennifer holiday ladies and gentlemen i understand why the chevron case is so important now i didn't pick up on it at first i thought about it but i didn't go in depth about it because people kept asking me about the chevron case and i'm doing too many other things to focus on this particular case but here's the original case of 1984 judicial difference agency interpretation is appropriate where congress has not spoken directly to the precise issue and the agency's interpretation is reasonable well guess what hold on let y'all see where we at right now sitcom 911com pdf you look for 2021 updated that's all you got to put in for the search and you'll pull up the laws you did not know exist these are cases now many of these cases are not published that's why you won't be able to find them but they've been there you'll be able to find the uh, wording pay attention chevron differences and sentences judges cease to sit as judicial officers because the governing principles of administrative law provides that the courts are prohibited from substituting their evidence testimony record arguments rationale for that of the agency Additionally, courts are prohibited from substituting their judgment for that of the agency. Judges who become involved in the enforcement of mere statutes, K.C. Davis, the godfather of administrative law. Don't believe me? Go look him up. Civil and criminal in nature or otherwise act as mere clerks, ministerial clerks for the involved agency. Their supposed court become thus courts of limited jurisdiction as mere extensions of the involved agency for mere superior reviewing purposes. Well, the Chevron differences says that they cannot do that anymore. They cannot represent the agency. They cannot represent that they are part of an agency. So the document that I'm working on for you guys, that's the information I'm incorporating. Sorry, there's a lot of case citations incorporated in this that whenever a judge is enforcing a statute that they are prohibited from substituting their f thoughts. It's supposed to be thoughts, sorry. This is me. Uh, give me one second. Okay, this is me putting that in there from memory. That's why I said I did not focus on a Chevron case when I was doing this, but that's your administrative government junk, ladies and gentlemen. That's where their courts are courts of agencies and not courts of judicial branch. They cannot gain any judicial power when operating in that stance. I, that's what we do here. We show y'all what is what, and then we let y'all take care of it from there. Gotta go. Y'all take care of yourselves.